Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Breakfast Stream. Good morning to you, Mel. Good morning. I mean, I I think I already told you good morning, but you know, just so, just to make sure you heard it, because you're probably like half, half asleep. Half asleep when you first said it, yeah. Half asleep. Hi, folks. Welcome to a new week. Is, is that a meal jumping up and down, <laughs> encouraging us to hydrate? Thank you, Squid, for the reminder. I better hydrate right now. It's too hot to drink right now. We just made coffee. Me and you have different opinions about when it's okay to put the hot beverage in your mouth. Yeah. I think... Well, we did an entire breakfast room on this, so it's not vitally important. We are halfway through the year. This is the last day of June, but that also means that it is the last day of the first half of 2020. And that is something. Something, yeah. Because 2020 has been, um, let's use the word memorable. <laughs> 2020 has been memorable. And uh, it's kind of wild that we're halfway through it. There's some other words. <laughs> There's some other words and phrases you guys have come up with. <laughs> Completely fair. God, it's funny because Taco Bell now means something else. Those 1962 bits from Skull Avengers says, what a decade these six months have been. God. Not wrong. Taco Bell now has a really weird place in my life because Taco Bell was the last... It was the last lunch bunch we had. Yeah. In March. Yeah. So, when I think Taco Bell, I think back to, like, sitting in that, that brand new Taco Bell. It had just opened. Yeah. And now it's, you know... Well, I guess actually now it's open again, but we're not going back there. Anyway, thank you for the uh, the bit skull of Pendra. People are enjoying Star Rain. Uh, looks like uh, Thomas made a new emote for Banana Time. He did. I have it. Is it Banana Month or is it Banana Week? Thomas was doing a thing where if he met a certain goal, he would do a series of like banana things. Yeah. Yeah. It's banana month, okay. It's because he hit like his goal, but then, then some. Okay. The time frame is a loose concept. Okay. Banana week became banana month, the best day of the year. I'm awake. <laughs> that made sense to me. Um, anyway. Yeah, there's a. Uh, there's a new emote. Are we on a high P train? We are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Banana Thomas. Banana Thomas causing... Ban Ban Banana Thomas is sitting on top of the train. I'm glad that he embraced it. There's been a, there's been a long running joke that Thomas is a banana. And now apparently he's embracing it. PK Magical, thank you for the, uh, the star ring. Anyway, well, we'll be working through alerts and also chatting, so I'm just gonna let the train. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let the the train just roll. I hope that you folks had a good weekend. Um, gold toast. Our um, our weekend was 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 pretty good. I fixed. I said I fixed. Mao identified that there was a problem with the chair, and we fixed it together. Yeah, is it still like holding no. up? Yeah. Good. Yeah, that vlog is uh, that vlog's actually done. I need to like, re I'll release, release that, that today. today. But um, yeah, there's uh. Are you ready? No. No, I'm not. Scroll down. Where'd my mouse go? There it goes. 
Oh, it's way down there. You have a few minutes. Okay, good. What was wrong with the chair, someone asked. Um, the cylinder needed to be replaced. The the hydraulic part. Mal was looking at the chair and was like, your chair should should sit higher. Yeah. And I was like, it should? And she was like, yeah. It should. I mean, that and chair had know. all original parts from 1999. Yeah, my office chair was is 21 years old. I don't know if people knew that. But it, it is. And, uh... We replace the cylinder, and it does. It sits. It sits up much um, higher now, and I like th two or three inches, probably. Sing about Banana Thomas. When I'm thinking of a man who has a plan, that person is usually Dan. But there is another really great fellow. He's a banana. He's a banana. He's Thomas and he's yellow. <laughs> I can put banana and Thomas together and it became bananas. <laughs> My brain. You know what? I accept this. Bananas. I tripped over the words and, and banana Thomas became bananas. Coffee. I'll take it. I'll take it. That was 5,000 bits from Florelia, who asked to sing about Banana Thomas. And in the process, we invented a new term, Bananas. Yeah, it should probably have a... I guess it ha if it had an A, it would look more like Thomas. But I really like it with the U. Bananas is his secret identity. And then Peggy's here to... Hopefully cause... No harm to the stream this morning. Don't take a bite. Oh, okay. Wait, what? That's why I said don't take a bite. Scariest moment of my life? I had the scariest moment of my life. Well, Alex walked out of the closet, but he didn't have a knife. But later on he did. That's how he reversed my trick. Alex is my friend, but he can be a major... I came up with a rhyme, but then I was like, wait, family friendly tag. Prick. Is that better? Is prick more acceptable? Might 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 depend might depend where you are in the in the world. I don't think either of those are particularly friendly. It's fine. What's from Gold Major said, hey bro, think about the scariest moment of your life, but like 1962, that was a long time ago. Has it been overtaken by something else since? Playing Minecraft? Playing Minecraft. <laughs> Just walking around and seeing a, uh, a creeper in the dark is scarier. But that's still one of my, my all-time favorite like horror moments is that that moment I was I didn't know he was in my room he yep. walked out of my closet and he said hey bro and that was that was very very frightening also there's a lot happening this morning good lord there is like <laughs> I'm like still waking up and everyone's like no 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 train 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 and I'm like okay 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 train I had a lot of fun on Friday, um, doing, uh... Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to that again, but now I have, to, I have a few days to get to it. I'm sad we have to wait a week. Yeah, well, we're gonna be playing it for a long time, so... I know. Like, we're gonna be playing... We're gonna be playing Breath of the Wild for six months. So... It, you're excited because we just got started on it. I know. Well, there's That's another the song. Beginning. Now sing about Thomas's banana. Hashtag family friendly. God. What about his costume? Thomas has a costume. He wears it like a suit. He is a trooper, but he will give you the boot if you don't like yellow. He'll stand up and say. I am a banana, 
and I'll hit you with hay because he has hay. I don't know. It's it's 9 a.m. I just will go. You guys know how songs can be on mornings. Coffee. Thank you, Danny. I know what you're trying to get me to sing about. I can't do it. What did you say? Now he has to find hay for his next stream, thanks. It's part of the lore. There is hay in Thomas's house. I want a sandwich. Mallory, there's more. How, what do you do? Carly's here this morning. Oh my God. Carly's not normally awake. Hi, Carly. Or here, one or the other. <laughs> Carly, Car Carly has a contractual obligation to wake up when the stream ends. I mean, I'm sure she's very busy. I mean, yeah, she has like things to do and like a real, <laughs> a real, a real job. <laughs> so that's part of it. Sometimes the stream is too, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sharing opinions, Carly. <laughs> the str so real talk, the stream naturally got longer once the pandemic started. Like it just almost, almost overnight extended like 30 minutes. Yeah, at least. At least, so that was part Coffee. of it. Jesus, no! <sighs> What's wrong, why? Now sing about John's banana and how they compare with Thomas's. There's not enough brain cells in my head to keep doing this. I mean, think about how many bananas John has. I'm thinking of something that John has. Everyone likes it. It's really red. It's his banana. He keeps it in his on his porch. Everyone says, hey, eat it with a fork. Oh god, just you know, it's about fruit. How does it compare with Thomas's? Thomas's wears his, John keeps his on his porch. It's gonna get weird, uh, man. You can't ask, you can't ask me to sing this many songs in 9 a.m. Songs just work better on Fridays. Coffee. You guys have almost finished the, the full train. Holy crap. You did finish the whole train. Holy crap. Hold on, I'm swallowing this sandwich. It's a, it has the texture of something that has been made in a microwave. Feather. Incredible. Anyway, congratulations. First off, that's that doesn't happen very often. Completing, completing the whole train on a breakfast stream is very odd. So thank you for the support. Appreciate it. And then also enjoy uh, the, uh, the train emotes. Which are still the, uh, the little... I keep, I keep wanting to call it a dumpster fire, but it's not a dumpster. It's a, uh, a, a oil barrel. It's a barrel fire. Anyway, as I was saying to Carly, basically overnight the, the stream got longer because there were there were more people here, there were more alerts, um, so it just naturally started to extend. Uh, and like, I'm okay with it. I tried to rein it in a little bit um, because there's been a few times where we've passed like two hours. So I tried to rein it in a little bit so it doesn't get to that point. But, has it, like, just naturally gotten longer? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely gotten longer. When the show started, it was, it was 30 minutes. And that was, that was so short compared to, compared to what it was. I have more free time now, so I might be here live more. Okay. Well, you know. We're always here. Carly said she has more free time, so she might be here live more often. I know, it's summer. 
It is summer. Man. It's not even like summer starting. It's like we're going to July. Tomorrow is July. Yeah. So. I put extra cheese in mine. Oh, wow. Sab says, I remember trying to come to breakfast, breakfast streams at 10 a.m. like a year ago and you'd always be offline. Sounds right. The show has just gotten longer over time. There was a brief time where the where it dipped once we started doing Friday streams, I think. Yeah. It started getting a little bit shorter, but... Brandon, I used extra sharp cheddar. It's not the best tasting thing, but, you know, it's... Well, it's good. my yogurt was frozen. I couldn't eat it. I have to wait. You needed something now. Yeah. Like that Sears commercial. Well, having coffee in an empty stomach isn't good for my stomach. I don't think it's good for stomachs. Now, do I do it? I, yes. Should yeah. I? Pro probably not. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start making some headway here because we um I have a lot to get through. Yeah, yeah. we actually we, there's a there's a great deal. There was a great deal, and then also a train. Uh, subs from Elusive Fur, James eighteen five two 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 months from Broken Dylan. Uh, sub from Sanders Ben513, uh, BurnZ91, uh, iSharpu, uh, Raina Thrown, Thrown Away, 20 months from Dan Vegan2, uh, sub from Polygonal Burb, 500 bits from Mr. GameBoy18, with the, with the beans. The beans, like, well before, well before the stream actually began. Andrew in the Kitchen gifted a sub to Spiritet93. 17 months from Zoraka. Good morning, grandparents in chat. Good morning. Good morning, Zoraka. Hope you're well. Uh, 10 months from Howie Sona. Hey, I'm not really doing that well this morning. Can you just say something funny to help cheer me up? My first thought is, banana? <laughs> I don't know if that's funny, and also I have, I've already used that word about 15 times this morning, but banana. Oh my god. Thermodynamics. Chat thinks I should say that. 22 months from LHMS 1704. 22 months, not long before I reach two years now. Just wanted to thank you both for everything you do and for making my days better with the vlogs and LPs. Have an amazing day. Love from Norway. Well, thank you. And also, that's plenty of beans. This used to count as early beans until, until the day Mallory pressed the button. It's a week ago. You're the one that did it, do you remember? Anyway. Patreon.com slash Stephen George Mamex. If you choose to support us there, we appreciate it. And um, I guess I'll be making another, well, that'll be Thursday. There will be another Patreon video on Thursday. And actually, Ready? It's, we are in a new month. I know. It just feels like it, you just did one. Well, things passing quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, one of my goals, which I'm I'm gonna uh, hell or high water really try to attempt to keep here. One of my goals was before June ended, I would release fan favorites. Today is the last day of June, so I'm either going to release it today, or maybe maybe tomorrow. But I am gonna try and release it. Like with either the last day of June or the first day of July, and make sure that it's out there. So, if uh, if you really want to be, if you really want to travel back in time to 2019 and be like, what was happening in 2019? Can I get anything that reminds me of some other year than this one? Um, that'll be coming out uh, soon. Did you see what Carly said? It uh, was uh, one more. Yeah. Thank you, Carly. Words are hard. Strangely, that, that word specifically ends up being really hard, but I don't, I don't know why. So. It just confuses you somehow in the middle of it. Like you're saying it and you're. Yeah. Your brain is like, no. I don't know why I have trouble with that word specifically. BC asked if we'd be using a premiere for the fan favorites. I wanted to. My So my goal had been I was going to have it ready for today. And then be like, hey everyone, it's going to premiere at this time, and I didn't get it ready. So, um, 
I may still do that. It'll, it'll be a toss-up. If I end up releasing it this evening, I may not do that. But if I have it for tomorrow, then I may do that. So, stay tuned to, like, Twitter to either find out that it's out or it's going to have a premiere. One of the two. Um, ten month. uh... If you premiere it, it comes up on YouTube saying it'll come out. Yeah. But, you know how... You know how YouTube is at, like, telling people about their own information that they want to be yeah. told about. It's... Who knows? Yeah. Who knows if you'll, if you'll find out. So... Anyway, 10 months from X. who says, Hey, 10 months, baby. I've been thinking about playing Breath of the Wild along with you guys uh, since I never got very far. Here's to even more months. You should! There's a lot of people that I read um, have just pulled Breath of the Wild out again and are playing it with us, which is nice. Uh, six months from Skullapendra. Double plus. 18 months from uh, Anne, who says, Double Twitch, baby. And it's got two little baby modes. Three months from uh, Crimson Bow 1. 22 months from DC will save, uh, or DC 20 will save. 22 months of crunchy goodness. Uh, 12 months, that's a year from Eplia. Congratulations. Eight months from Ride the Book Ninja. Eight months, Twitch baby soon, but what to name it? I also wanted to say, after watching Mal use the star egg, it randomly made me think of the way the apple was used in Assassin's Creed. Sorry, my brain links things weirdly. Anyway, hope you both are well. Yeah. That's, that's pretty accurate. The Apple in Assassin's Creed, like, instantly kills everyone. So it's not quite the same, but close. <laughs> same concept. Uh, 11 months from YOLP, almost to that first year already. Wow. Get a sub from VM Ashton. And 19 months from Unbent Reagent. They're into bits from Summer Sencha. It's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday. I'm now 21 years old. If I were American, I could legally yeah. drink. Uh, but since I'm from Norway, I've had like three years to learn to dislike the taste of alcohol. Happy my birthday fell on a Tuesday so I could share it with you in chat. I hope your birthday goes well. Birthdays are, you know, we're still in the weird time for birthdays. But that doesn't mean you can't do something for you. Do something for you today. Coffee. Whether that's like, play a game you like, or have a, have a, have a second coffee. That's what I would do. Three months you would from, have a second coffee? I would have a second coffee. Three months from Mysterious Green Thunder. Hey, Grandma and Grandpa. Can't believe it's already been three months. Thanks to my roommates, I started watching you guys since Sunshine and Link's Awakening. I've watched a lot of your videos since, including Skyrim. Do I have a problem? Nah. <laughs> God. I can't believe that uh, this year, like this uh, November, the Skyrim will be nine years old. And since then has been released on everything. Is it, not, is it not on refrigerators yet? Probably. Is the federal rule for drinking 21 or does it vary by state? It, the federal rule is 21. It used to vary by state. Wisconsin used to be lower and I know that the Tavern League, which is like tavern owners in Wisconsin, tried to fight it but they couldn't beat it. But also, isn't there a thing where like your, your parents can order you alcohol? In Wisconsin, alcohol? your parents can order you alcohol, and you can drink it at the bar legally, but you can't do that in South Carolina. Because, like, when we were servers, that was something that they clarified, and I was like, thank you for telling me, because that's different in other states. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Queen's Thief says, in comparison, the driving age varies by state. Yes, Steven got his temporary license the same time I did, and I'm a year older. Because you were driving, like, younger than I was. In South Carolina, you can get your, your learner's permit on the day you turn 15. So I did. And I think ours is supposed to be six months before 16. And your, your permit can become a license or you can take the test or whatever after six months. So I had my full legal license at 15 and a half. Oh, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. Huh. That means, that means I've been driving for half my life. Yes. Like I've been driving more than I've not been driving. Wow. 
Neat. Anyway. Sab says, um, I was 17 when I got my license, learner's permit at 16 in New Jersey. Mm. Noah says, in Jersey, it's permit at 16 and license either six months after that, but not until you're at least 17. That's an interesting thing. So, like, I don't know, because, like, I, you know, I had my permit at 15 and it was fine, but also, as a general rule, are there, there's so much, like, in your teenage years, you are changing so much. Mm -hmm. Like, your brain is developing so much. The difference between, like, 15 and 17 is huge. Um, so, it probably would be, probably be better. I learned when I was teaching that schools down here, the seniors used to drive the school buses to pick up the elementary school kids. And I was like, they let them do that? And... A co-worker who was old enough to remember that was like, yeah, my brother did that. He drove the school bus. I, um, I feel like the, the lax laws have something to do with... They're old farm laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're, it's, it's from when something about using farm equipment and driving to do something like that. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. But it was fine. Actually, it was. I had a, I had a ton of experience. I think that one one of the reasons I'm so comfortable as a driver, and I feel like I'm such a good driver, is that I had so much experience when I was 15. Because um, at the time, I'm trying to remember exactly how, how. So my mom doesn't see very well at night to drive. So like after a certain time, she's just. She, she she should not drive. And then... Me too. Yeah, you're like that too. And then... I think my dad... I think my dad had gotten hurt on the job right around that time? And he wasn't supposed to drive? I don't know. Something happened where I was basically like the chauffeur, chauffeur for my, like my whole family. So... I was driving everywhere for them, you know? And... As a result, I had like way more experience than you even needed in order to get your license. So it was a you know sink or swim situation. It's like, well, you have to drive the car now. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. 18 months from Origami Gamer. It's been a while since I've been able to make it to a breakfast stream. It's good to see my grandparents. Just happened to be up because uh, Camille wanted food. Well, welcome, and uh, congrats on on one plus and enjoy your breakfast. I'm going to be enjoying second That sandwich breakfast. wasn't terrible. It's not terrible. No, it wasn't. It's just The cheese helped a lot. It it's a microwave thing. So you, yeah. again, it's it everything just to throw in the microwave. Yeah. Everything in perspective. When you have when when it's in perspective then you're Yeah. Then you're good. Uh, three months from Basuna7513, finally the long-awaited plus. Here's a fun fact from a, a game show question. The platypus and echidna are the only animals that can lay eggs and produce milk, making them the only animals that can make their own custard. Enjoy that image. <laughs> Knuckles? Did you see what Chess said? The cheese helped. A Wisconsinite about literally anything. I'd add beer to that list, but I don't like beer. football. Fossick says cheese sushi. The place I grew up getting sushi from had a Wisconsin roll that had cheese in it and what was the fish? Maybe shrimp. I don't remember. Car if Carly's still here, she might remember what the Wisconsin roll had in it. What? It was like a cheese stick in sushi. What was the fish? Maybe shrimp. It had some sort of fish. Carly says shrimp, okay. I mean, probably shrimp, because shrimp and, shrimp and shrimp and cheese go together. People do shrimp and grits here, and grits are yeah. cheesy, so yeah, it's probably right. Uh, 19 months from the Great Ass Fairy. 19! I finished watching the Super Mario RPG VOD yesterday and cried at the end. A little dramatic, I know. I just want to say thank you both for the wonderful content, and thank you to the community for being so fun and friendly. It means the world to me. Well, it means the world to us, too, um, being able to have everyone together and 
everyone getting along and, and just having a fun time. That's important to us. I'm glad you enjoyed Mario RPG. It was a fun game. It took us... It's so funny because at the time that we did it, it was the longest stream series we've done. Yeah. At nine weeks. But then we then we start doing Breath of the Wild, and I'm like, well, time to time to do something we'll never top. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing this game for months, but it's fine. We're gonna have to add another day because there's other games I want to do, and it's gonna take so long. Yeah, uh, there's 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 plans. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get through, like, some of the big things some, you have some, to get some through. Some of my yeah. backlog stuff. Yeah. July July is going to be an important month in the George household. It's going to be a very important month. We'll see what happens. Uh, 22 months at tier 3. That's platinum toast from Danny X6. Are you going to do the Valley Girl voice or should I do the Valley Girl voice? It says in Valley Girl vice, voice. <laughs> a Valley Girl vice. I mean, that's my vice. Oh my god, like, I can't even believe it's been, like, 22 months. Who even knew that those 22 months could happen, like, within the first half of 2020? <laughs> Danny X6 says, thanks for everything, y'all. Danny, thank you. Thank you. I did kind of want to hear you do it, but... Oh my god, it's... <laughs> I can't, like, even believe it's been 22 months! That's mine. Is yours? Is, Jess says, "Yikes!" <laughs> is yours better? Objectively, <laughs> there's a lot of vocal fry. Oh my God, Becky! Under bits from Paint Chipper, PC. Thank you. Five hundred from Murmur. Picked up Slay the Spire because I enjoyed your first twenty, and, uh, and it's on sale for the Steam Summer Sale. I'm now obsessed. Slay the Spire is great. It's also on. Um, it's on. It's on mobile now, right? Did I imagine that? It's on Switch now. But I think it's also on mobile. If it's not, it's coming. Um, Slave Spire is wonderful. Highly recommended. Uh, and I mean, you'll be you can play Slave Spire for a long time. There's a there's a game I just recently played called Monster Train, and I highly recommend that as well. It has similar but slightly different mechanics. Um, it's only on Windows right now. But uh, if you like Slave Spire, check out Monster Train too, because they are good. Both games are, are really good. Thanks, uh, Brandon. Oh, snap. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, let's see. Send a Quill and Dunsparce. Give it to sub to Idris 10. We get 100 bits from Macau 2020. Uh, Cobalt Custer with the Milk Bomb. Five subs to uh, Kev Kevo Loco 5. Star Dasterly. Alex 12829. Mary Berry 17. I am Gary Jr. 1385. Cobalt, thank you. 200 bits from Joshua F36. Uh, three months from Go Mega Nintendo. <laughs> There's a message, but I can't read it. Ask me not to. Uh, Summer Essentia gives a sub to A Lover's Rose. 100 bits from Miss Mayhem 310. Uh, Squid gives a sub to Banana Thomas. Banana ring, Thomas. Ring, 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 ring. Banana Thomas. I don't even think Thomas was here this morning. No. No. Which is, like, the first few minutes are just about Banana Thomas. Yeah. So, somewhere his ears are burning. Somewhere. 100 bits from uh, Incarnado 95. 300 bits from uh, Ammon, Iowa, with the uh, the Kepi Star Rain. I tried to get Kepi to come upstairs when I was downstairs, but he didn't want to. I find lately it's He's either... in the sunshine. He's at the back door. Oh, Kepi's answering that that classic sonic question. Can you feel the sunshine? Ooh, that's a deep sigh. He either he it seems like he either starts stream with us. Uh-huh. Or he like at the very end shows up. <laughs> Can you feel the sunshine? He really loves sitting in the sun and it only comes in for like the first two hours of the day. I mean, it's a good reason to avoid us and go just sit in the... Yeah. And that's when all the birds and squirrels are out back. <laughs> does it brighten up my day? It does. God, you know what we haven't done in forever? And by forever, I mean since the literally one time we ever did it? Play Sonic R. 
Sonic R is why like, why aren't we why aren't we just quitting our jobs and playing Sonic R professionally? That's where that's where esports is going. You've known it for a long time. I almost choked on my coffee. Very soon, everyone who's playing Melee is going to say, you know what? Sonic R time. Sonic R. Fox on Final Destination. Nah. That is such a hard game. Anyway, 300 Bits from Paint Chipper says, hello and good morning. Good morning. Hope your morning's going well. 100 Bits from Wolves of Pie. Six months, double plus, from Keldeo60. We had 2,500 bits from Silver Striker. It says, uh, for actually catching a breakfast stream. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've seen that. <laughs> well, welcome. And I hope that your morning and your breakfast is, is going well. And maybe even gets better. The second half of your breakfast, just... Even more... Flavor. I made some eggs the other day. What, when was that? Was it like two days ago? It was like Sunday. That was two days ago, yeah. I made them how I normally make them. And we were eating them, and I was like... These aren't... It's not that they were bad, but they didn't have any flavor. And I was yeah. like, maybe the eggs just didn't have a lot of flavor. And I was like... I was very upset. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we had a bad batch of eggs. I mean, they weren't, like, rotten. No, they weren't they rotten, were just but like... they, they... There was... I, they were made the same way. I yes. used the same butter. I cooked them the same. I used the yeah. same like salt and pepper. There's a certain way that they they taste, and like they just don't. There was something wrong, and now I'm worried. I'm like, well, the other ones taste like this. Yeah, because it's a full carton. That was the first of them too. Like, like one chicken pooped out those 18 eggs, so those are all going to be from the no, same. No, that's not how they fill those. There's a really good mystery science theater short about <laughs> pooping out eggs about egg production in the U.S., even though it's from the 50s. I don't think it's changed much. It's not like one chicken sits over the thing and... Eggs are complicated. They should cost like $100 each. It's not like they're going to put a carton under a chicken and be no, like... No, that's what I'm saying. They all didn't come from the same chicken because chickens lay eggs every 20 hours or something? Like one egg? Yeah. So they can't just like sit there and wait. So statistically, the they're next time I from... make eggs are going to be better. Probably. I hope so. I had a double yolk last week. Yeah, I that, was like, I've, I asked, I asked him. I was like, oh, do you want me to put this on the vlog? She's like, nah. And then like a big I was like, okay. You don't. How often have you seen that? I don't know the statistics on it. The last time I saw one, I think, was in middle school. Wow. So. It's a lot more frequent Vitigo. if you raise your own chickens and not, like, factory chickens. Why do eggs cost money? What do chickens need money for? Hay. They sleep on hay. Right? Kind Ryan says, ch my chickens lay eggs um, 300 of 365 days. 300 eggs every 365 days. I thought it was less than 24 hours between eggs, but it must be more then. Well, also, maybe the chickens take a little break. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but I feel like I feel like if I was making an egg every day, there'd probably be some days I want to, like, take a break. You know what I mean? I've never laid an egg, so I gotta move on. 500 bits from uh, Elfie Goldfish. It was my 28th birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. And I want to share some love and gift subs once I figure out how. <laughs> I've been watching for over nine years, and I'm looking forward to many more. Ah, Well, I'm glad that you've been enjoying stuff for so long. And, uh, there's, you know, there's more to come. Because we're, we're going to be playing Breath of the Wild until 2021, at least. Unbent Reagent with the Milk Bombs. Five subs to, uh, Savoran. Sir Nimikins. Sleep Deprived Gamer. Drew Cola and Cypher D. Thank you, Unbent. 500 bits from Silver Striker. And have another 500 for Bananas. We've established new lore, so whenever next time Thomas streams, there's going to be folks Ouch. saying that his name is Bananas and that he hits people with hay. I'm glad that my crappy rhyme it's like will now. Pocket sand, but hay. Like. <laughs> pocket hay. <laughs> Wouldn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Dale Gribble, 
in a banana costume. Good mental image. Moist Crunchy Potato that gives a sub to Bananas. Nice. 21 months from uh, Chrysara17. 22 months from Purendry. Three into bits from uh, YOLP. Had spare bits, so why not jump on this high P train? Why? Oh, thank you. Seven months from Snowy Saturu. Uh, three into bits from Shy. So I've noticed an interesting and strange trend in the slang for something being cool or awesome. Years ago, it was fire. Then it became lit. And most recently, it's been gas. Do you see the trend? <laughs> No. <laughs> Why in the world have we gone backwards down the combustion cycle? I'm so old. Yeah, I'm I'm ancient. I'm so like so the problem the problem is when I was in high school I was not hip. This might come as a shocker for everyone here, <laughs> but I was not the forefront of uh, you know, vocal newness when I was in high school. So I was already not using, like, the slang. So now that I'm, you know, in my 30s, I'm like, oh god, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Whenever I say, whenever if I think something is cool, the word I use is cool, because that that is the word that was being used in the mid-90s. So. What was the other word? That was like super... Rad. Yeah, rad. Well, that's rad. It's not really a word that I use. Well, if I use radical. it now. Well, yeah, but like, if I use that now, it's... It's tongue-in-cheek. There's yeah. like, no one, no one actually says rad. I hope that, I hope that eventually we circle back around. Ah, uh, sick, yeah. Sick was really big. Yeah, when people were saying sick, I was in middle school, and I never used sick. Because I was like, eh, this sounds stupid. <laughs> Gnarly is the same as rad. It's like a, that's not a, gnar, gnarly feels like, and maybe the, the, the etymology, like the, like where it comes from is, is from West Coast surfing. It feels like it comes yeah. from West Coast surfing. And I was not a West Coast surfer, so. Same, There's same like with tubular. A couple surfers here, not many. Yeah, I mean people surf here, but they like do, this is but... like where we are specifically is like it's a family beach. Gnarly reminds me of dirty fingernails. I just don't think we have the right waves. <laughs> but why? I'm from Boston, so wicked is always thrown around. I don't think it's changed in years. Tom B. Ryder says. I mean, so a lot of these terms, like uh, radical, gnarly, bodacious, tubular, like, I grew up really, really loving, really loving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was going to say Rocket Power. No, 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 no. Before <laughs> that. Before that. Uh, actually, shout out to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which helped uh, potty train me. Because uh, when I was a kid, my mom got me these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles underwear. And you I don't just, have to look at me like you're telling me. I know. She's told me. I just didn't want to pee on the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Shout out. Shout out to Raf and Mikey. Might be out in the audience today. I didn't want to pee on you guys. Thank you for potty training me when I was younger. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Might have let out a little dribble on Leo once or twice. That was oh an accident. God. But for the most part, potty trained me. Thank you. Who's the other one? Donatello. <laughs> They're all Renaissance painters. Anyway, it, no, it actually worked. So, you know, uh, hey, this is just throwing this out there for any parents. I'm not a parent. I have no experience with this at all. <laughs> no, you don't. Not even a little bit. Uh, if you got any kids and they're like, oh, I love, what's big now? Paw Patrol. Is that that's still a thing? If you, I don't know any of the characters in Paw Patrol. I don't even know what they do. But like, if you got the kids are like, I love Paw Patrol. Give them Paw Patrol undies, and they'll be like, I can't pee on Mr. Paw because then he won't be able to do his his occupation correctly. So yeah. What was I talking about? Anyway, not peeing your pants is lit. Five subs from Elfie Goldfish who says uh, Thunder Res Eagle Luke. Usenair, I'm not a plant, and Mr. One Up. Elfie, thank you. 
Appreciate it. 500 bits from Gamer Girl 2108. Good morning, Stephen Amell. I have good news. My dad only uh, only has says only chemo treat, treatment left. I think it's supposed to be only one, one one chemo treatment left. Hopefully, he won't need radiation. That is good news. That is good news. And my my best goes out to your to your father. And I hope that uh, I also hope that radiation will not be needed. Uh, we got 300 bits from Satsy, who says, "Where are we on the train? Oh gosh, I need to get the badge." You did it! You did it. I can't. I cannot believe the train completed this morning. That's not a breakfast stream thing. Uh, three to bits with the uh, from Paint Chipper with the paint uh, star ring. Under bits from Human Brian. Fourteen under bits from Andrew in the kitchen. What do I uh, do now that there is no more university work to do? I feel the need. The need to be productive. I mean, I think that that's a normal feeling. Like the feeling of like, especially, so if you, I mean, you, you, you know what this is like too, me and you both, like you, you, you're going through college and then all of a sudden college stops and you've got this weird period before you start work where you're like, what do I do? Yeah. Like you've got this, you've had this momentum from several years of education of you're like, uh, what, what do I do now? What do I do? Cause you haven't started your, your work. Um, do something for you. Do something that's, you know, like... I mean, I know... That makes you feel productive. I know they made macaroons lately. Andrew says, but also need to break. I mean, that's also acceptable. Like, I, I know for me, um, I always have to be like... I have to feel like I'm making something. I have to feel like I'm doing something. I'm, I am really bad at relaxing. It's I know not, you are. It's not my forte. But also, you know, I think that some of the I, I I I relax more than I have in the in the past. I've been doing a better job in the past like year or two. Um, but there's there's nothing wrong with fe like feeling like you should you should be working on something. Anything that brings you joy is acceptable. People need joy. Make your own joy. Uh, Three hundred bits from Danny, who says there is hay in Thomas's house. Does he know? Is this like when there was toast in your yard? I'm gonna find out where Thomas lives, which I already know. I have his address. I'm gonna drive to his house. I'm gonna put hay in his yard, and then I'm gonna buy him a, a horse. Horses eat hay. Goats. The goats eat hay. And you can get milk from goats. And that wasn't my question. They're a lot smaller and eat less hay. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Do goats eat hay? Goats can make milk. Unrelated. I'm just saying that if you have a goat, you can make stuff versus a horse, which is more of just like a, a pet that you can ride on. What, what good is this horse doing me? 510 bits from Tired Psycho Pump 91. Train go beep beep, but this early? Seems like it's off the beeping rails. <laughs> I mean, it, it is whenever there's a song, son of a gun. <laughs> Sing a song about not peeing on the Ninja Turtles. Raph and Mike and Donnie, and there's Raphael. I said Raph twice, <laughs> but I don't mean to yell. I'm thinking about something that meant a lot to me. I didn't want to make on their faces pee. <laughs> on their faces pee. <laughs> Raph and Mike and Donnie, and there's Raphael. <laughs> I, I forgot about Leo. <laughs> he can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that was 5,000 from Tiger's Revenge who said, sing a song about not peeing on the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. When I was a, when I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, I played, uh, I played Turtles in Time exclu almost exclusively with uh, Mike. Because he was the fun one in the show. He was the fun one. He just wanted to have a good time. And I also identified a little bit with Donatello, too, because he was, like, he was the smart one. Was Which like, one had the size? That's Raph. Yeah, Raphael had the size. I just think they're cool. Raphael was, like, the, like, the, like, the aggressive one. In the new version, Raph is the leader? 
What? What does Leo do? What does... What's Leo's thing now? I'm... I'm so confused. I need... I need more information. We're not moving on. <laughs> like, I've refused to move on so I know about this. He's cool but rude. Leo is the smart aleck. He gets left out of songs. Yeah. Huh. So, like, in the original comic books, like, when it started, they they were all this, they were all, they were all the same color. They were all, they all had, like, the red headband. See, I don't know anything. So, I assume they were just, like, like, yeah, like in Smash, how you can play as, like, Bumblebee Ness and, like, regular outfit Ness. See, cause I never watched it, so like that was my impression. Like they were all just the same. Well, they have personalities. I uh, see. I didn't know that. But like when I was growing up, when I was growing up, Leo, Hi, Leo was the leader. Uh huh. So, okay, I'm gonna just this will be very brief. Leo, Leo wears the blue headband. He has the the swords. Uh huh. There might be a better name for the swords. He has the swords. He's the leader. Mm -hmm. Raphael is like the the brooding, angry one. Right? Uh -huh. He has the size, he has the red headband. Okay. Uh, Mike, uh, Michelangelo, he has orange, and he is, he's like fun. He's like, oh, I'm fun. That's what his catchphrase, I'm fun. He says it all the time. He has got the uh, nunchucks. And then there's Donatello, who has the staff, and he has purple. And the, what, what the, the, the plot of all of the, all of their stuff is that Leo's like, we should do a thing. Mikey's like, pizza. And then Raph's like, I'm mad. And Donatello's like, I'll be in the van. I'm not joking about that last part. I don't know if, like Donatello fights. But like, most of the time he's in the van. Everyone remembers that, right? Like he literally is in the van. They have a special van, like an unmarked van, like creepy van, and it's got a bunch of computer equipment in it. And like, Purple is a personality. <laughs> and he, he clicks the buttons. He's tech support. One less turtle to animate. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Like, that's the show. When I was a kid, I grew up watching the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. And, like, that's that's what the show is. They're like, we're going to go fight. And Donnie's like, I'll be in the van. <laughs> and he goes and gets in the van. Does he drive the van? I don't even know if he drives the van. He's just in the back of the van. He's never shown. <laughs> Don Donatello's just a voice. Like they're dri like Leo's driving the van. It's like you do him okay back there, Donatello, and he's like, yeah. Come don't buddy. show me though. Come here, buddy. You want up? We were just talking about your favorite show. Hi, Stinker. Anyway, so I've had that's a good tangent. Three hundred bits from Prince. He says, Banana Thomas made me really happy. I'd only been in the stream because you sent me there as a raid, um, and I let him be my background audio, but then, then he turned into a banana and played the song Banana Man by Tally Hall, and it's so hard for me to naturally find Tally Hall folks that it simply just makes me happy to hear Tally Hall when I did not start my music playlist. Thomas has really good, um, really good uh, taste in music. We've, we've shared a lot of like music with each other over the years and he I, I like his taste in music. You're so silky. And also he's a banana. Fifteen months. Uh from known as Duffy. Hey Steven Mount, glad to finally make it to one of these things. <laughs> glad you're here, Duffy. Uh Elfie Goldfish with another five gift subs to uh, Nana Carp Zero, My Honey Bree, Martyr X23, Ya Boy Kaiba, and Bon Jolt. Thank you, Elfie. You got them hiccups? Yeah. Wait, there was a girl in the new version with Venus de Milo? There were female Renaissance artists? That's a statue. It's almost like you know something about art. Is that true? Oh, it was the company's fault. <sighs> Four months from uh, Ping Budapong. Morning, folks. Up super early to see the G-Parents, because sleep is an enigma these days. We missed out on a little sleep two days ago? Yeah. It's because we woke up. Because of the... the they're yeah. doing, um... They're clearing land, is what they're doing. 
And they uh, they start at seven. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, Ten subs from Mr. Game Boy 18. Milk bombs to Heathcliff 510. Um, Abe Use 29. Prince Bubblegum overdone potato bun. Udama Man or Udaman 2198. Father Fishbowl. Gen Genesis Bertrand, Shearwater, Jay Linebeck, and King John 64. Mr. Game Boy, thank you. I appreciate that. They're gonna give it some shy. Naturally, he says. I guess you could call a virtual mugging with digital Twitch currency being shoved down your throat. Natural. Sure. Uh, Fossix gives a sub to Tabercat. Thank you, Fossix. Carly can use the Kepi sub, or the emote. <laughs> Kep's like, okay, I came upstairs and now I'm being held. Are you comfy? Oh, You're he's purring. purring. He's purring. Welcome to the stream, buddy. <laughs> There's Kepi from Carly. That's you on, on the screen so many times. Yeah. The, uh, the vlog that I released from nope, Friday, we talk about Breath of the Wild, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of good footage of Kep eating the little, not a Slim Jim, the little, like, Gogurt thing yeah, the for the cats. Gurt. Oh god, you're precious. Don't, you're too distracting. 22 months from JCJX. So close to one year, uh, having you both... Welcome back. Uh, so close to one year, watching you both have breakfast after my dinner and telling myself not to crave more food. Thank you. Could you share slash recommend some of your Steam Summer Sale hauls, if you had any, or maybe if you plan to get any? Um, I haven't, I have not, I have not looked at it. Um, as a general rule, there are too many games, and I haven't, I have not picked up anything from a Steam Summer Sale or any Steam Sale in a, in a while. Admittedly, um, every once in a while, some there's something will come across my feed, and I'll see that there are things on sale, but I haven't picked up anything in a in a bit. But I saw something that was on sale the other day. What was it? I don't know. Anything? <laughs> G games that you should play. Uh, the one where it looks like Animal Crossing and you walk up the mountain. A long hike? Short hike? Short, short hike. A short hike. That's my recommendation. If a short hike goes on sale, even if it doesn't, um, play that. A short hike is two hours long and it's worth your time. That was my, that was my, like, recommended game from last year. Yeah, and Red Dead. <laughs> no in between. If you've got a hundred hours, buy Red Dead. If you've got two hours, buy a short hike. No other recommendations. <laughs> 300 bits from uh, Syndico and Dunsparce. Happy birthday to my son, to my sister, Summer Essential. I'm so glad that we can both be a part of your giant, ridiculous family tree as your grandkids and get to see our cousins and chat every breakfast stream. Couldn't have asked for a better sister than her, and I probably wouldn't have found you without her influence. Much love to all. That's so sweet. That is sweet. I'm glad you're both here. I'm glad you're both here. And I'm glad that our, our large, dysfunctional strange family has been meeting multiple times a week for going on two years. So, short hike 30% off? Perfect. Great. Recommended. I also, I, I really love uh, Red Dead also. Um, Red Dead has one of the strongest stories in any video game I think I've ever played. So, if you're interested in like a long western story, and you want it to be good, it's good. Uh, let's see, uh, six months from Ghosty Toasty 3 thanks for everything you guys do. I wasn't able to make it to the Friday stream, which was unfortunate since Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games, but I do plan on watching the VOD later this week. Yeah, if you missed the, uh, if you missed the first one, it's, it's archived and it's not going anywhere, so, um, check it out. And it'll, it'll start going up on YouTube in August, but I understand some folks may not want to wait, and that's, that's totally okay. And actually, one of the things I was looking at um, is that the quality difference between the stream version and the YouTube version will be different. Um, just in general, with, with how streaming works and the, the compression for the, the game, like, 
if there's a lot of stuff that's moving on screen, it's just not going to look great on stream. And with Breath of the Wild, there's a lot happening. So if, it, if, if at any point you're watching the stream and you're like, oh, you know, something looks a little weird, uh, that's just streaming. You the YouTube streaming? version has a lot more... It, it, it's not that it looks better, you know, it, it, it looks like if you were to not move and look at it, I'm sure they'd look identical, but that motion Coffee. that causes the artifacting is not present in the YouTube version at anywhere near this, like the stream version. Fun you? fact, fun tech thing. Why are you still, st have you even blinked? Why are you staring at me? He loves you. Why are you staring? You have not even blinked. He loves you. That is why. Blink, you're creeping me out, buddy. You see his little paw <laughs> movement? That's, yeah. He loves you, Mallory. You're talking to him. So he's he's adoring you. That's what that is. He's not creepy. He's sweet. <laughs> he's staring. It's because you're speaking to him. He's listening. He wasn't blinking though. It's fine. You're just looking at me. That he does that. He's fine. <laughs> he was so happy you were speaking to him. Anyway, 200 bits from Leafly. Eight months from Noah. He says eight months. Woo! I'm disowning this Twitch baby if they don't like firm eggs. <laughs> Listen. There's 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 no problem with enjoying eggs however you choose to enjoy them. I'll just say that. If you if you want. Anyway, three bits from Danny he says, uh, all the talk of bananas reminded me that at one point I started calling them nanners as a joke, possibly because I was talking to my nephews and niece, but now I've been saying it less, ironically, and I just said thermo banana, which led to thermo dinaner. Thermodynamics, unfortunately, creeps into our lives in ways that are unexpected. Three into bits from uh, Prince Riku. It's time for this week's edition of Awful Wee Shovelware Ideas for Extra Life. This week is The Game Party, and I'll just let your gamer say it, all, say it all. The Game Party experience is like going to a party where there's nothing to drink but Tesco Value Brandy, and there are only four other guests, and they're all racist, and then your ex turns up and gets off with a Danish supermodel. That acts is with MP, and you get to drink with the two... You get to drink with the game party and its two sequels. That certainly sounds like an experience. Oh, um, there is a game but that Roland is pulling for. I'm, I yeah, I'm legally obligated to tell you because Roland has been doing. Ro, Roland has been doing so much work. Um, because we are not going out. We are not taking care of uh, picking up games because we we're, we're, we're leaving the house once a month right now um roland has been picking up uh literally hundreds like hundreds of wii games uh that we don't have um and as of right now they're all current so the list is, is updated um but of those he told me he's like if what is it sled Sled Shred? I think that's it. Sled Shred featuring the Jamaican bobsled team. He's like, if this doesn't get played, he's like, I'm going to riot. Yeah, that's it. Sled so, Shred. So keep that one in mind. Sled Shred. Because that's, that's the one he really, really wants to see happen. But there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of amazing Wii games. I know. I'm pulling for Let's Play Ballerina. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Satsy says, I hope Roland's getting paid for the legwork he's doing. He is. He is. Much, much to his chagrin. Thursday but. 7 says, do we, do you have the draw some tablet? Yes, right? Yep. That's what that is? Yep. The, uh, the you draw tablet? Yep. We have the tablet. I think we have, uh... I don't know if we have all the U-Draw games, but if we don't, we have most of them. We have nine of them. Yeah, however many there are. There's That's already more than I ever expected. Yeah. So, Do 
Do you have Canada Hunt? I don't think so. Sixty-three Phil says during the stream, will you display your picks, Dan Chaz picks, and Roland picks? I want to make a list of things that I want to see, just based on like box art alone. Oh, draw some as a Ubisoft you draw clone. What? Oh God. So there's a second drawing tablet. That's not great. Also, I checked and we don't have Canada Hunt. But if it is a if it is a North American. We release, then we'll probably try and get it. <laughs> We're working at it. Uh, 20 months from Sapphire Becca. Well, overslept to miss the first 20 ha, minutes, just in time for my 20 month anniversary. It all worked out perfect. Thank you, Becca. This is one of my favorite songs on the shuffle. Glad you like it. Thur Thursday says Ubisoft made their own tablet and it's not compatible. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, you know. Do we have any draw some games yet? Are they? Are they? Uh, but would they be listed under draw some? Hopefully. But I'm not entirely certain. You see anything that's under draw some? The furthest away it could be for me. It's on the very bottom left. That was that's where that part of the alphabet is. Where is the alphabet? I don't see anything. It says draw some. It'd be after Dog Island. I don't see anything. Must not have any. Yet. <laughs> God. Yeah, there's a lot God, there's a lot of games. There's so many games. But, it, you know, I'm also excited because, like, Wii is such a ridiculous system, too. So I'm excited. Anyway. Uh, three months from Rebel Tech FPV. Three whole months. Where has the time gone? Feels like just last week, Stephen was cracking jokes about dat Wisconsin cheese and de Packers, eh? I'm just always doing that. 500 bits from Silver Striker. It's a funny story about when I earned my learner's permit. I was taking my classes over the summer through my school, and the day we were to take my actual driving test, I had stayed up all night. Only thing I messed up on was my right-hand turns. To anyone taking their driver test, don't be me. I had Noted. a friend who failed it like six times. I knew a few people that failed it like twice. I don't know if I knew anyone that failed it that many times. I got it on my first time. Me too. I was really glad I didn't have to parallel park, but what they did is they would drive around and if anyone was set up for it good, like just on the streets, then we would do it. But here they have like they cones have a... and stuff and they make you do it, right? Yeah. Because there's a spot to practice by the library. Yeah. That Well, that's where you do it for the test. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is you can go there to practice. Yeah. So I would go there to practice because where I'm at, there is nowhere to parallel park. Like, there is not street yeah. parking where we live. Um, that's just not a thing. So, you have to, that's like the only place you could practice because there's no other place to practice. I got really good at it in uh, Savannah, and then I never had never, to parallel park after that. Never did it again. Yeah. Five months from Holy Freya, good morning. I'm awake for once. Coffee, cheers. Coffee. Cheers. I finished my coffee, actually. That, that does not always happen. Three months from Pete Cow. Three months. Wow, it's been a long quarantine. <laughs> Agreed. 14 months from Rusaka Gaming. Morning, Stephen Mount. First time watching uh, in a bit. Glad you two are finally getting to enjoy Breath of the Wild. Excited for all the funny moments to come. Have a great day. It's been great so far. And, I mean, so far we've only really done the tutorial section, so I'm kind of excited about seeing how the game opens up now. Yeah. Um, there's going to just be a lot of getting sidetracked, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Six months from Vest Digital Media. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, 500 bits from Mr. Game Boy. So I did end up buying Monster Train. I find it very enjoyable, and some of the later champions you unlock are very fun to play. My only complaint is that it is short, uh, especially compared to Slay the Spire. Though the pacing still works, I don't know how I feel about it. If you play more of Monster Train, I'll have to ask you again. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if they're planning on adding, like, more to it. 
I don't know. But Slate Spire has been great. Highly recommended if you're on an international flight. Which at this point, I'm not sure who would be on an international flight. But if you find yourself on an international flight, Slay the Spire is a great game. 510 bits from Tired Psychopomp. The mention of Slay the Spire reminded me, after the last First 20 stream, I did pick up Monster Train on Humble. It's the first deck builder that I've ever actually clicked with, and I love it, so thanks for showing it off. Oh, nice. Um, oh, another game in that same vein. I really like these style of games. Monster Train, Slay the Spire. Another one that I really, really loved. Really loved. And I would highly recommend, especially because I think it's a little more accessible than Monster Train and Slay the Spire, uh, is Dicey Dungeons. Love Dicey Dungeons. So. Other people mentioned Dicey Dungeons too. Actually, Dicey Dungeons is one... Dicey Dungeons is a game that I played on First 20 and Chaz bought. Chaz was like, yes. Chaz doesn't play games. I know. I know. I know. Chaz, Chaz... It's true. <laughs> Chaz is self-described as, as not not playing video games. But Chaz uh, saw that on the first 20 stream and was like, yes, this is the game that I'm going to pick up. And I think I think since then he's finished it. So he, he enjoyed it. But he also, you know, Chaz's game, Chaz's, Chaz's mind like works that way. Like it's, that sort of game is very, very much up Chaz's alley. So I can see why he liked it. Chat was saying that Jules and Adri worked on that game, and then this is a Jules song, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, um, I didn't know they worked on Icy Dungeons, but also they've worked on so much. Yeah, they've done they've they've done a lot. Like yeah, I think it was yesterday. Adri was like, "Oh, I did voice work for the end of the Nintendo Minute series, which is like a little like podcast style thing on Nintendo's YouTube channel." So I clicked through and saw it and I was like, wow. So yeah, they they're they're busy. They also They also did work for a Zelda game. Like a, a third party Zelda game, but a Zelda game no less. So like I, sh I probably should stop being surprised by yeah. by that. Anyway, uh 300 bits from Prince Riku, Steven, like that Valley Girl voice is like totally not great. Like I know you're trying and it's like funny, but like come on. That's like really bad. And like, makes me feel bad for the Valley Girls from back home in, like, Antelope Valley, California, and, like, and, like, that hard to, like, do, you know? Was that better or worse than before? Better. Your, is it better? Your high-pitched was not good. Anyway. It's basically Trisha. Trisha? Didn't you voice Trisha from Fab? Who is Trisha? Never mind. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Um, let me let me try this for the second part of this message. Anyway, like I hope you like enjoyed reading this like totally long message. Like I talk when tired. I like to Valley Girl when sleepy, and BF like always always laughs at it. So like totes rude. Thanks, Chaz. Welcome. I also don't remember. Now I can hear that, so yeah, in my head. I did Flint. That, no, just move on. 18 months from Ella Tyler. 18 months, I haven't been the best uh, during quarantine without, uh, with making it to stream on time, but I recently got back to Ring Fit. You guys have been a great encouragement to get up in the morning to get moving early. We also started doing that again. We took a little break from it, but we've started to get back into Ring Fit. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It finally got to the point where we have to like treat it like an RPG. Because for the longest time, we did not make smoothies in the game. We did not worry about stat boosting. We just like pushed forward with all of our normal attacks. And then eventually we were like, oh, we're gonna have to treat this like a, like an RPG. <laughs> now, we're, now we're fine. Uh, three and a bits from, uh... sorry. Brandon with the Odama. Uh, three to bits from Prince. He says, have you heard of Sonic Dreams? It's very different from typical Sonic games. I honestly can't tell you if this is for better or for worse in some cases. I know a couple of parts that are definitely for worse. Sonic Dreams? That only sounds vaguely familiar. 
Is that the arcade one or is that something different? Oh, it's a fan game. Okay, no. Then that, then there's no way I'm gonna know what that is. I know that there was um. I know that there was a uh, uh, a Sonic game that was released on. Uh, arcade where you play it with a trackball that we were learning about not too long ago. Yeah. I found that fascinating, and I really, really want Roland to f get a, get one for the arcade. I don't know if he could do that, but like, yeah. gosh darn it, that would be cool. That'd be really neat. Mr. Game Boy gives a sub to uh, Leonardo TMNT Turtle Power. T-U-R-T-L-E power, T-U-R-T-L-E power, T-U-R-T-L-E power, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shout out to everyone who had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song collection on audio cassette. Oh, Steven. <laughs> ninja, ninja rap. There's like five people that know what I'm talking about. And it's touched a part in their brain, and they're going, oh, my God. God. Whoo, I'm going to listen to these songs today after stream. 300 bits from Prince, who says, uh, I heard, I hear talk of goats. I love those weird-eyed little buggers. Goats eat hay, but they also need grain and the ability to roam and eat all sorts of things. Surprisingly, goats love leaves, just tree leaves. They go nuts for this stuff. You'd also need a goat lick, and if you do breed them to get milk flowing, you have to uh, milk morning and night. It hurts them otherwise. Milk and goat is not a pulling motion, by the way. You basically try and grab the milk from above and squeeze it out. Love goats. Have you ever... Did you ever, like, take a field trip to a farm and milk a cow? No. Okay. That must be a Wisconsin thing. <laughs> have I ever milked a cow? No. Or a goat? No. We saw goats. <laughs> Jess says, LOL, yes, Matt. Now, we, we we got to meet a lot of goats whenever we uh, went with Jepson. Yeah. God, that vlog's not out. Hey, 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 hey. This year. This year. Gosh darn it. Yeah. People get to see the goats. There's so many goats. Uh, let's see. Five hundred bits from Dark Overboard. Fun fact, in the UK, they were called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I also liked them as a kid, so mom has picked up me with hero merch. That's interesting. I wonder why the change. I doubt that it was a. I doubt that it was a like a, a licensing thing. It seems like a very specific trademark, right? So maybe just they thought hero would do better than ninja. Maybe there was like a stigma associated with ninja in the UK. Ninja is too violent. Okay. Interesting. See, like. In the U.S., there was a there was a period, I guess, in the '80s where like the U.S. freaking loved ninjas. Just had an obsession with ninjas, which explains the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then also um, the the movies about the three the, ninjas movie. Yeah, and then there was also um, there were some other movies too. There was not only three ninjas; there was like Ninja Kid. Three Ninjas, Surf Ninjas. What's the one that's the... Oh, Karate Kid, I'm thinking of. Ninja Kid. There was, there was an obsession. There was a, an obsession around that time with... Um, with... Uh, like, karate and kung fu and, like, martial arts in general. Yeah. And it seeped into entertainment. So it's kind of interesting to hear that the UK was like, Whoa, no, no, no. No ninjas. Uh, 300 bits from Mazelle with an E. In Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's kind of like a weird origin story. Uh, Raph is the leader, and right now they're called the Mad Dogs, not TMNT. Also, John Cena was the villain for the first season. You mean John Cena voiced the villain, or John Cena was the villain? <laughs> because I could actually believe both. But obviously the second one is a little, a little more odd. Voice the villain. It'd be great if, if the turtles were like, "We gotta take down John Cena." <laughs> anyway, three months from Hogarth von uh, Tenderstick. Withy resub comment. I'm tired. Also, Hogarth, uh, shout out to you for um, the uh, gift sub from Josh. I was at Josh's uh, stream yesterday briefly. 
just a short amount of time. I showed up at the perfect time. And I get a, I get this up from uh, Hograth, I believe. Unless my brain is completely shut down on me. So Hograth, thank you for that. Uh, eight months from uh, Star Wars Kid 798 who said, good morning, happy eight months. Happy eight months to you, Star Wars Kid. Sure thing, I saw you and Jules didn't have them, so I figured why not. I appreciate that. And it helps out uh, Josh too, which I appreciate. 300 bits from Prince, who says, uh, because I saw an adorable video of this kid goat, you could probably hold uh, with one hand, settling down for a nap next to someone, I'm going to talk about goats more. To tame kid goats, you literally just have to pick them up a lot, and at first they will try and run. However, after they've been caught and picked up enough, they become cuddly little buggers. I had little tiny hooves jumping on me all the time when Grandma had me train her uh, new kids before she sold them. She breeds for milk. They seem sweet. Like when we got to hang around Josh's for an hour. Yeah. Like they were cute. They were like rearing up and headbutting. Yeah, a lot of headbutts. Mm -hmm. And it sounded like it hurt. I'm assuming it doesn't because that's no, what they, they do. do. That. But for me, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to do a headbutt with someone else. Like if I headbutt you right now. Please don't. We would just both hurt. Yeah. I think we need horns. I think that's what helps. There are any bits from Satsu who says, note. I wrote it. They haven't been home. There's been no cars there. Yeah. At least it's written. So we're ready. Five months from Bored Turtle. Thank you, Bored Turtle. Three bits from Shane Leaf. Steven, not sure if you accept Steam games from rando strangers, but I have a few I'd like to give you. How do I do that? Can't seem to find a way to gift games to non-friends. I think there's, I think this is still a feature where you can do it via email. I know that I've received games from folks in the past that way. I think that's still a feature. If it is, you can just send it to um, my, uh, my business email, which is uh, steven at stevengeorge.com. If that's not a feature, if it's, if it's not a feature anymore, then I'm not sure. Is it a feature? I think it's still a feature. Pretty sure. Hopefully. Uh, 100 <laughs> jam is a feature. Yeah, if it's not, then like, oh, that's jam. Uh, 100 bits from uh, Macau 2020. Thank you, Macau. There are any bits from uh, Gold Mage, who says, Sea lions gather in large groups called rookeries to breed. Males typically keep a territory of several dozen feet and protect it from other males. Most of the time it's all intimidation and the bigger male wins, but occasionally shoving matches and even more dangerous physical fights can erupt. Sea lions do follow the laws of thermodynamics, but do not eat bananas. Some of them are named Thomas and some are named John. Do we know for certain that there's a sea lion named Thomas? I don't know. I don't know that for sure. Maybe, though. But maybe. 14 months from uh, Desun Lee. Yay! 14 months. So a while back I mentioned you guys in my story and I figured your characters out. Steven is an archivist who uses uh, video drones powered by black magic. Get it? Your camera. And Mao is a descendant of a muse. I like, I like the play on words with the black magic. That's fun. Speaking of cameras. Oh no. Speaking of cameras. I know. You do know, right? Yeah, you're going to talk about the camera. It's going to be I brief. Oh, it's going to be brief, never... but it's worth mentioning. It's worth mentioning. There's at least... That, I bet, Mal, I bet there's I bet there's at least three people here now that will know ready? what I'm talking about. We'll see how brief. Mal's using a stopwatch to make sure I stay on track. Ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. Um, so uh, one of the camera lines that Sony uh, has had for... I mean, many years at this point, is the A7S line. It is the video-centric uh, version of their uh, A7 series. So they have the A7, they have the a A7S, which is for video, and the, the A7R, which is for photos. The normal A7 is like a, kind of like a more well-rounded camera. So they've continued to iterate on these, right? They've continued to make like uh, a, uh, A7, a um, you know, A7 II, A7 III, uh, etc. Uh, the A7... R2, uh, uh, the A7R4. I don't think they made an A7R3. I think they just skipped that. Anyway, they made the A7S2 like years ago. And everyone's been waiting on when they're going to make the A7S3. It has been years since then. 
And since then, there's been so many other companies that have been doing so many interesting things with cameras, everyone's kind of starting to lose hope in, the, in Sony coming out with a full-frame, video-centric uh, camera. This is super relevant for me because I've really enjoyed using the, uh, the vlog camera that we have now, which is the uh, A6400 from Sony. I, I've never seen autofocus work as well, basically. Anyway, after years of silence, there was an interview with Sony where they said the A7S III is, is uh, going to be announced this summer. And that's it. 90 seconds. That's not bad. But there, there had to be some level of backstory for them to understand what I was talking about. I couldn't have just been like, A7S III is coming this summer. It's a, it's, it's... There's a camera for Sony they haven't, like, added a new feature to in a long time, so news came out that they're going to come out with a new camera this summer that is, like, the next one in the series. Okay. And Steven is really excited about it. It's, it's, it is exciting because depending on the features of the camera, that camera could be uh, a future vlog camera. Um, it would be a very noticeable step up from what we're already using. Like, yeah. very big. I very know you're big step excited up. about it, but you're like. <laughs> but you did. Letters and numbers and You Sony. did in 10 seconds what took me 90 seconds to do. Yes. Sure. Sure. It's. It's. You'd fair. Satsy says so is camera before monitors. Um. Maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know. And also, even once the camera comes out, I may not get it at launch. Even if it was something I really wanted, I may still wait possible because I may see what the competition is going to do um, just kind of like wait for that Noah says Steven sounds like me when I talk about science stuff and Mao is like the people I'm trying to explain it to you know the thing is I get excited about uh -huh. a few things and you get excited about things too I know and that's fine. Everyone is valid. Everyone is allowed to be excited about things and talk about things. Even if the other person just sighs and says, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Also a sub from Fluffy Spaz. Welcome. Mine leg says, now I know how my patients feel when I forget to speak in layman's terms. I think I throw doctors for a loop sometimes because they'll talk with doctor words and I tend to know them or I'll use them and I think they kind of like take a second to so here's the thing though I don't think that anything I said was that confusing I was using there was a lot of numbers and letters well those were model numbers though those aren't those don't have anything to do with like camera I know terms. but I you started saying all these numbers and letters and I fair fair you're you are right if, if I would have phrased that differently, like, Sony has a camera line they haven't added a camera to in many uh -huh. years, and it's finally been announced it's coming this summer. I guess that that was an easier way yeah. of saying that. Yeah. Yeah, those were model numbers. The A7 series is the series. It's the A7, the A7S, and the A7R and then they add to it. The S and the R mean something, but like, I don't know what they mean. The, the, the S series is for video and the R series is for photos. And the normal one is well-rounded, so. Oh, we did talk about the A6400 autofocus. See, there's a, no a lot of numbers and letters and you get confused. Where's the passion in that? Exactly, there's, you know, <laughs> video and r photo. <laughs> 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 I'm excited. I'm also excited about what Canon is doing. You know what news was yesterday that I haven't heard anything for in a long, long time? What's that? There's a game on Switch that was supposed to come out last year, and they finally, after months, tweeted, and they were like, Hey, look, it's not coming out yet, but... What game? Mineko's Night Market. Oh, that... They, they said that they had to do some sort of new build or something. So, like, no release date yet, but... 
I'm the same way with microbiology. Suddenly everyone wants me to explain viruses, but no one wants to listen longer than five seconds. Actually, actually, I was reading Discord yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? And it was Noah. Yeah. Jam, yeah. Had, Jam had asked something about, like, viruses or DNA or something, and Noah was like, oh, hey, yeah, I can, I can explain that. And I started reading it, and, like, yeah, Brandon was the one that called Noah into the conversation. I was reading it, PCR testing. That's, that's, shows how well I was paying attention. I started reading it, and I was, like, I got halfway through the paragraph, and I realized that my brain had shut off. I was like... Hold on. And I like went back to the top of the paragraph and I was reading it again and, and like when I got back to the point that I had realized I had I was lost, I got back down to it and I was like, I don't think this is for me. I think <laughs> I think I think I need to keep scrolling because I was... <laughs> Like I like I like science. Science is cool, but like that's th those specific things are not my forte. And when I started reading it, I was like, I can't can't do it. I can't do it. Like, we could talk about, like... Cameras? Well, I was gonna say astronomy. Like, if we were gonna uh -huh. talk about science, like, that that's interesting, and I feel like I can follow pretty well, but, uh... Carly sometimes had me read her papers when she was in college. Yeah. Like, her astrophysics papers. I'm sorry. And they were interesting, but there were some things, like, I mean, I didn't know. Well, sure, yeah. Because that was her major, and I was art education. Coffee. I mean, I you know, I like I like learning. <laughs> I like learning, but like. Thanks, Carly. <laughs> I like learn, but like, there's also a certain point where I just I just I I just admit to myself, I'm like, you know what? I'm 31. I I'm very well established in the things that I like, the things that I feel that I am really good at or an expert mm -hmm. at. And like, this is just not gonna be it. And I, I think it's fine to be well-rounded and learn a little bit of things, but if I'm reading something and my 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 brain is just glazing over it, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna leave this to somebody else. <laughs> this is good. Someone else is gonna be <laughs> the person that, that does this. I anyway. think the paper Carly had me read was on the different ways they find planets because planets don't have, don't give off light. Yeah. And it was just like the different ways that they know there's a planet it's there no based on different things. Yeah. And Exoplanets. Exoplanets. Yeah, Exoplanets. that was the paper I read. And like it's all it I don't know. Every everyone's got a thing, right? And I think that's what that's that's what makes the world interesting. Yeah. Is that, you know, Noah can talk about science. I can talk about cameras. You can talk about art. Color. Yeah, you know all about like Art? Thomas says my thing is bananas. And Welcome, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Thomas, you should rewatch the beginning of this VOD. There... Or there's some clips. Or there's clips. Like, we talk about you for, like, ten minutes straight. It's great. Um, and some people, some people, their thing is not a thing so much as it, as it is being, like, extremely well-rounded in things. Mm -hmm. I've got friends who, you know, I wouldn't say that they're necessarily an expert at any particular thing, but they're really good at a lot. It's like they have a knack for picking something up and just, they are good at it. So, there's a lot of different, like, people. Anyway, I get another alert here, and then uh, we'll probably wrap up. Three hundred bits from Prince Riku. My boyfriend and I often have this silent agreement that we will try our best to go along with the other when they gush about complex things. He'll talk about linguistics or some foreign languages, nuances that are really interesting or odd. It's been Arabic the past month. And I'll go on and on about some historical event or something related to some new chemistry paper. Both of us go over each other's heads, but sometimes one puts the other to sleep when talking late. <laughs> but that's what love is. That's what love is, is putting your partner to sleep. See, I'm only frustrated about your camera talk because I hear it twice. I hear it when it comes out and you explain it to me and I'm excited then, but then I have to hear it again. When I inevitably bring it to the stream and, and talk. And then also you vlog it, so then I have it three times. I don't, I don't vlog it. Sometimes. I don't, I know I don't. I really don't bring that to, I don't, I don't make a vlog where I'm like, guys, Canon is releasing the R5 and it's an 8K30. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> 8K30 thing. Do I sometimes? Only if I'm like planning on buying it. And you are probably thinking about it. Maybe. 
Oh, yeah. Unless something better comes up by the time you're actually ready to buy it. See, people are saying I do, but the thing is, they don't understand how much more I talk about this at home. <laughs> that's why I, That's why we're on different pages here. They're like, no, you talk about it. And I'm thinking, no, I don't. No, I don't. I am, I am talking to Mal multiple times a week about new camera stuff or new this or that. So like, comparatively, I'm really not. I'm really like, <laughs> this poor girl has got to deal with so much stuff that comes out of my mouth. There's... And that's not even taking into account the songs that you sing for streaming. Or the songs I sing at home. Yeah. Yeah, me singing me singing on stream, that's like that's not a new thing. That's I do that for fun at home. I'm always singing little ditties to Mal. And I'm I'm hoping for a laugh, but you know, ninety five percent of the time it is just a long sigh. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Thomas like Diddy, monkey, banana, banana Thomas. Anyway. Uh, 300 bits from uh, Zeusorn. He says, "Good morning. I'm fashionably late. Um, here's a well-known trivia. You guys are awesome. Min Min is is a interesting Smash fighter, and I will actually try to be on time Thursday." <laughs> Thank you, Zio. Actually, we um. Do we post the same amount? <laughs> yes. Weird. Uh, we um. We actually postponed a uh, episode of Custom Smash so we could include Min Min, so that'll be coming up. Get Mal to laugh with this song. <laughs> You're already laughing, so I've already won. The truth is when you look at me, you know I'm a lot of fun. I make you smile, try to do it every day. When you see me, I hope that you say, you always make me laugh. You stopped laughing. <laughs> you do. I try. That was that was that was five lines, technically. Yeah. The fifth part was important to the completion of the song. Oh, Kippy's leaving. Goodbye. Well, he was a thousand degrees, so that might be why. Yeah. That was five thousand from Mr. Game Boy says, "Get out to laugh with this song." She was laughing at the beginning. It was <laughs> funny and then sweet and then mean. <laughs> All emotions wrapped up into one. Kepi didn't find it funny. Is that why you left? Hi, buddies. Anyway. Is the mail here? Is that what you hear? Go get the mail, man. Miss Game Boy, thank you. Um, and to everyone, appreciate it. Uh, fun morning. Took me a while. I was waking up when all of the all of the alerts were happening right at the beginning. And like all the songs. And there was a hype train. I know. And I was like still waking up. Uh-huh. And now you're awake. Now I'm good. Yeah. Now I'm good. Um, things to announce for today. Uh, it's... Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Back to uh, I know we released the first episode of Kirby's Star Allies DLC yesterday. Um, have fun waiting like four days until the next one um, because today goes back to Smash Brothers uh, with Ryu. This week is what Ryu and Ken and Cloud sounds right. Uh, and then uh, vlogs today. Vlogs will be called up today, um, short of something awful happening. Um, and then... Did the one of Kepi eating the meat tube come out? Yes. Okay, that came out. Yes, that one came out. Did the um, one where... <laughs> where everyone was in the driveway come out? No. Okay. <laughs> I, I have to make these. Okay. Vlogs will be out today, and then, uh, like I said before, uh, fan favorites, either tonight, which would be kind of weird... Tomorrow is probably more likely, but um, I'm, I'm, I need to push that out. Like, Dan has had it done. Um, it's really on me to uh, get it finished and released. And I've been putting it on the back burner because I've been doing other things. And I need to finally say, no, 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 no. I'm dealing with it. So, yeah. <laughs> it's tomorrow's vlog out yet. <laughs> no, Mal, it's not. Chase says, chop, chop. <laughs> Uh, also a sub from, uh, Gabbert. Thank you, Gabbert. Alright. That's it. That's it. We'll, uh... We'll talk more Thursday. By Thursday... By Thursday, fan favorites will be out, and I'll ask you guys, um, 
how you feel about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Have a great Tuesday, folks. I cannot believe, I can't believe that the year's half over. But hey, at least it's moving pretty quick. <laughs>